You've probably heard about some of the awesome benefits of vitamin B12. Things like more energy, better focused, enhanced mood, and an even better oxygenation of your brain and body. It can even help maintain nerve health and help repair damaged nerves. But have you ever wondered how much B12 is too much? In this video, I'll help you explain how much B12 you need and how much is too much. It's gonna be good. Stay tuned for more. Hi, I'm Dr. John Coppola. I'm a leading expert in peripheral neuropathy, co-author of the critically acclaimed book, Defeat Neuropathy Now in Spite of Your Doctor, and I'm also the co-founder of Neforia CM. If you're new to my channel, click on the subscribe button for up-to-date and accurate information on peripheral neuropathy and what you can do to overcome it. Also, don't forget to click on the bell so that you get notified when I publish new content. Has your doctor ever told you that your B12 levels are too high based on your blood work? Or maybe your levels are normal, so you're wondering, should you even take a, a supplement that has B12 in it? Well, don't worry. In this video, I'll help you determine how much vitamin B12 is too much. Believe it or not, most of us are at a higher risk of not getting enough of this vitamin rather than too much. So when I'm treating a patient for peripheral neuropathy, one of the first things we do is we put them on a nerve repair formula containing what appears to be very high levels of B12. And the patient is often concerned that it may become toxic to their body. Well, in order to understand how much your body needs, especially if you're battling peripheral neuropathy, let me get you familiar with two guidelines used for determining the amount of nutrients necessary for your health. Let's start with the RDA, which stands for Recommended Daily Allowance. Most people believe that the RDA is the amount of nutrients needed to keep us healthy. But did you know the recommended daily allowance is actually the minimal level of vitamins and minerals needed to keep us alive while preventing the onset of diseases like scurvy and rickets? The RDA recommends that we consume 2.4 micrograms of vitamin B12 daily. This is actually an incredibly small amount to begin with. But here's the real problem. The RDA doesn't take into consideration individual lifestyle. For instance, do they smoke, drink alcohol regularly, or live in a polluted city? It doesn't take into consideration how much you exercise, how much stress you're under, or if you're suffering from a medical condition. And any one of these will dramatically increase the amount of B12 you need on a daily basis. Now, Few people know this, but there's another standard that accurately establishes the amount of nutrients we need, and it's called DODA, which stands for Optimal Daily Allowance. This is an improved dietary guideline that is designed to help you meet optimal nutritional needs to maintain your health instead of the bare minimum needed to ward off disease. So when we look at these two guidelines, the RDA for B12 is 2.4 microgram, whereas the ODA is 10,000 micrograms recommended on a daily basis. Now, the ODA recommends more than 4,000 times the amount of the RDA, and that's because it's the optimal daily allowance that's designed to keep you healthy and allow you to thrive and, th and flourish, as opposed to just making sure that you survive. So here's three reasons why you need more vitamin B12 than you thought. Reason number one, Following the RDA values will not keep you healthy or help you return to good health, and it will not correct any illness or disease. If your only goal is to continue to breathe without any quality of life, well, the RDA will certainly help you achieve this. However, if your goal is to return to optimal health, including recovering from peripheral neuropathy, then the ODA is the appropriate guideline for you to follow. Reason number two. Vitamin B12 is extremely safe, even when taken in large doses because it's a water-soluble vitamin. This means if you consume too much or more than your body needs, your kidneys can easily excrete it out of your body through the urine. In fact, vitamin B12 is so safe that there's no established maximum amount that will cause a toxic side effect. In fact, there have been clinical studies where patients were placed on astronomical amounts of B12 with absolutely no side effect. Reason number three, there are special circumstances when you'll need a lot more vitamin B12 than you would under normal conditions. 
For example, if you're under a lot of stress, if you're experiencing a lot of fatigue, you drink alcohol regularly, or you smoke, you'll need higher levels of B12. Also, if you're at risk for a cardiovascular disease, or if you suffer from a neurological disorder, you'll need much higher levels of this vitamin. So let's look at one neurological condition in particular, peripheral neuropathy. In order to repair peripheral nerve damage, the body needs tremendous amount of B12. Remember, with peripheral neuropathy, you're not just trying to sustain normal function of the nerves, you're trying to heal and repair the damaged nerves. When your nerves are damaged, your demand for nutrients literally skyrockets. In fact, in Japan, they did a study where they gave patients suffering from multiple sclerosis a daily tablet of 60 milligrams of B12. By the way, that's 60,000 micrograms of vitamin B12 daily for six months. Bear in mind, I'm not telling you to take 60,000 micrograms of B12 daily. I'm just sharing with you the clinical evidence that demonstrates that high levels of B12 can be safe when your body is in a state of repair and recovery. During this time, the demand for nutrients are much higher than usual. So the question that's probably burning in your mind is, how much vitamin B12 should I take for my peripheral neuropathy, even if my levels look normal on, on lab work? Clinical research has shown to support the repair of damaged peripheral nerves and to assist nerve regeneration, you need to take between 1,500 and 3,000 micrograms daily. If you want to learn more about what nerves need for repair, be sure to watch our video, The Right Dose, where Dr. Montero covers exactly which nutrients are critical for nerve repair and how much you need to take. I'll leave the link for that video in the description below. Well, I hope you feel more comfortable with taking vitamin B12. Remember, it's completely safe even in high doses. As always, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this information and you want more like it, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. While you're there, please like us because it really helps us grow our channel. And don't forget to click on the bell to be notified when we publish new content. One last thing, your input is very important to us. What do you want to hear about next? Tell us so we can cover it in a future video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.